What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make your sounds more dynamic using meta sounds. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Okay, so the method that we're going to be using is basically randomly changing slightly the pitch every time that we play the sound, making the illusion that it is slightly different and it will basically use uh, enable us to not have millions of variations from the sound of course you know filling up our content browser and everything so we will only have one asset and just change a bit the pitch and it will look like we have different variations so in my case I have this sword impact very simple I guess that you can hear over here so let's go ahead and create the meta sound so I just right click go into what is it, audio and create a meta sound source let's name this MS underscore in this case for me it will be the sword impact and then we can open this up. And basically, if you're not very familiarized with uh, meta sounds, I do have an introduction video, so I'll be leaving it in the description. All right, so what we're going to do here is from the input, when we press play of the audio, we'll go ahead and just play a wave player. In this case, it's gonna be mono. And basically, this is just going to play a sound file. In this case, let's search for my sword impact, which is this one, and basically, the output will go into the out mono and when it's finished it will go into the output unfinished so right now i just press play and it just plays the audio as it is okay as it was before but now what i can do is change slightly the pitch and of course i can put a here a value and it will change as you can see but of course we want to do this randomly so what we can do is get this and do uh and put this note over here which is the random float note now we just need to connect the on play to next and next to play. So now we'll basically play first and then we can just leave everything as it is except the minimum and max. So on here what we can do is put a minimum. So let's say that the minimum is minus 3 and the maximum will be 3. This simple values over here. Every time that I press play, it will basically slowly make a variation. So I could go here and increase this to minus 10, for example, and 10 to make it more, you know, noticeable just for you guys. You can see now it's like, you know, basically a bigger difference between the two. I recommend leaving this small, like maybe minus 3, 3, so you can experiment to get what you want. But basically right now, every time that we'll play this meta sound, it will play a bit different, making the illusion that we have different variations and of course, uh, making the quality much better so of course whenever I call this so if I were to open my third-person cat blueprint and for example I do the left mouse button and I just do a play sound to D just to go ahead and test this I can now go and place the sword over here it's the MS of course not the original file it will be the meta sound and you can see that now every time I left click it will be slightly different and it will just make the illusion that it is way uh, honestly high quality and of course that we have different variations therefore we save a lot of time making different importing different files and then with a whole content browser full if you get me so that's it guys if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate you collect the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 videos and tutorials so check them out remember that the private files will be available in my patreon or youtube members so check them out don't mind this whatsoever follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye